We continue covering Colorado tonight for the first time in nearly two months. Part of Denver Civic Center Park is open again to the public. Since the city's health department shut it down in September, crews have been busy cleaning it up and making restorations. It was closed due to safety and health concerns. Kelly Worthman joins us live tonight at the park. And Kelly, it's not completely open yet. That's right, Karen. The city is taking a sort of staggered approach to reopening the park. But as you can see right now, in fact, a family is already enjoying the parts that are open. But you can also see there is fencing around parts of the Civic Center that remain closed. That includes the Greek theater. It's also a Greek amphitheater. It's needing continued restoration. But what we wanted to know is what the city is doing to prevent this park from having to completely close again. This park is the heart and soul of the city and county of Denver. We all know it's important to take care of your heart, but the exact opposite was happening for Civic Center Park. We were cleaning up 50 to 100 needles a day. From illegal drugs to human waste, a rat infestation, and loads of litter. And we have to make sure that the illegal activity doesn't just come back. To keep the park safe and prevent another closure, the city is beefing up security. Old bulbs are being replaced with LED lighting, and an infrared camera system will keep a closer eye around all of Civic Center. Plus, it's hiring more park personnel and rangers to patrol the area. So we will have staff in this park 20 hours out of the day, seven days a week. Park staff will also watch for people dropping off boxes of food. While it was a good intention to help the homeless, Scott Gilmore says those items were never consumed. Instead, it fed the rat problem. That is not helping. Reviving Civic Center Park has been a costly endeavor. Graffiti removal alone cost the city 200 grand. New cameras are another 400,000, and more staff will cost over 1.4 million dollars. Scott says it's absolutely worth it, though, to take care of the city's heart. If we don't send the message in this park, we might as well give up. Now, with most of the park back open right now, some popular events are already planning to come back, and that includes the Chris Kindle Market in just a couple of weeks. Reporting live from Civic Center Park, Kelly Worthman covering Colorado First. Such a pretty park, Kelly. Okay, thank you.